In an era where 93% of online experiences start with a simple search, SEO serves as the roadmap to getting more eyes onto your website. That's why more than 61% of marketers are making improvements in the SEO sector and also making their organic presence a top inbound marketing priority. So hi guys, this is Vaishnavi from Edureka and I welcome you all to this session in which we'll discuss about the major difference between on-page and off-page SEO. But before we get any further with this session, let's take a look at the agenda. So firstly, I'll start off with making you guys understand what is on-page SEO, followed by which we'll talk about off-page SEO, and then we'll look at the parameters to compare these two SEO techniques, and finally, we'll wrap up this session by taking a look at the difference. So let's get started with this session, guys. What exactly is on-page SEO? How does this technique come into existence? On-page SEO basically refers to everything that you can do on your website to help search engines understand your site and improve the chances that you will rank high for your target keywords. When I say the content that is present on your web page, it actually means that you can use keywords strategically in your website's content or keyword optimization title tags, meta description, search engine friendly URLs, header tags, internal linking and anchor text, all of these come under on-page optimization. It also includes XML sitemap as well. And also website performance can be measured using this on-page SEO techniques. So this video is not just focusing on on-page SEO, but also we are going to be focusing on off-page and their differences. So I'll just give you a brief introduction guys on page optimization aims to improve individual web pages on your website to rank higher in search engines and drive more targeted traffic to your website with on page SEO. You have control over the factors that influence the rankings. So this was just a small introduction to on page SEO. Now moving ahead. Let's take a look at what exactly is off page SEO or off page optimization. So I think you guys must have understood what exactly is on page now talking about off page. I think you guys can contradict both of these on page is something which is present on the page and off page is something which is not present on the page. It refers to all the actions you can take off your website to establish authority and help boost your sites ranking. This includes links from other websites guest blogging posting on social media or writing forums. All of these come under the category of page SEO or of page optimization. So when I say off page optimization backlinking is something which is more important. So what exactly happens here? Why exactly do we need off page optimization in our company off page largely consists of link building through different approaches such as guest blogging outreach participating in forums leaving valuable comments and so on. So all these together constitute a good digital marketing strategy. Other aspects such as social amplifications, reviews and brand mentions also play an important role when it comes to off page signals. The number of quality of links pointing to your website remain one of the top three signals taken into account when Google ranks a website. So do consider this guys. Backlinking your content or backlinking to your website plays an important role in generating leads as well as generating sales to your company. Google considers backlink to be similar to a vote. I think most of you know how the voting system is. A vote of confidence shows that someone else outside your website trusts your content and believes it's valuable enough to link it back to you. So, this is how you can generate more traffic onto your website by not just optimizing the content which is present on the screen. You can do it off the screen and also technical SEO is also an important factor. Some major factors or some most commonly used SEO techniques would be backlinking like I mentioned manual link building self created links social sharing guest blogging and brand mentions. So this was about a brief introduction to what is off page SEO. Now moving on. Let's understand the parameters to compare these two optimization techniques. So I've noted down a few points or few parameters based on which I'll be comparing both these SEO techniques. Firstly, I'll compare them based on the agenda and then the goal. 
and then we'll talk about the strategy which they use and which one has more weight is it on page or off page which one is used the most okay and also finally i'll compare them based on the result generation how can you measure the results on both these optimization techniques? So let's compare these both based on the parameters that are mentioned. So the main agenda of on page SEO describes the changes that can be made to your website. This includes the copy page title meta description header tags and HTML code. Whereas off page SEOs agenda is relating to any other SEO practices that occur outside your website. It includes link building, social media marketing, and influencer marketing. Now, what is the goal of using on page and off page SEO? I can see the common agenda for this is generating traffic and getting noted on the Google search engine. Each technique has a different goal of its own. So, on page SEO mainly deals with driving relevant traffic to your website. It is intended to make it easier for visitors and search engines to understand the nature of your website as well as navigate the content and the structure corresponding to it. Whereas off page SEO helps to improve your website's overall authority. This off page SEO is designed to improve the overall authority of your website and help build your reputation as a valuable resource to other users. So this is exactly how they differ based on their goal. Like I mentioned, the common goal is to drive more traffic and generate possible leads. But you can see that the goal of on page SEO is slightly different to that of off page SEO and talking about the strategy which these techniques follow on page SEO basically deals with research best practices and competitor analysis. It is always driven by researching proper and relevant keyword to your audience and the latest best practices for compliance with the search engine algorithms as well as using a content gap analysis to see which keywords your competitors are using in order to rank on the search engines. Whereas SEO follows the strategy of backlink research, social media and influencer marketing. Off page SEO deals with backlink research tools. It also helps you get the insight of where your audience are present on social media and help find the top writers, bloggers, and publishers onto your field. Okay, so this is a strategy which both of these optimizations follow. Now, the next one is which weighs more? Do you think on page SEO comes in handy or off page SEO? Let's find this out. On page SEO should be the first point of focus as it is more controllable and sets a solid foundation for engaging and converting traffic that comes from backlinks and other off page tactics. Whereas off page SEO should be prioritized once on page optimization or on page SEO takes place and you're confident about your website and also you can please your visitors as well as the search engine. Okay. So this was about which one weighs more. I think on page has a lot of capacity to drive more traffic onto your website rather than off page, but also you should not forget about the off page SEO tactics as well. Just because people get to see what is present on the screen doesn't mean people who don't know about your content should not get to know about it. So backlinking is also necessary. Off page SEO is also necessary for your business growth. Now talking about the last parameter that is results. How long do the results take to show an effect? On page SEO takes more time to register with the search engines as new or updated pages must be crawled and indexed again before their impact is felt in the ranking. So this will take a lot of time guys. Uh, even in our case when we write blogs, they just don't show up at the first page as soon as we publish them. It will take its time. You need to push it. You need to promote the product. You need to market your product right. Only when this is done, you're going to get proper results. And talking about off page SEO, off page SEO has a lot of potential to move the needle faster as you can leverage the power of domains that already have high authority and influencers with a wide audience. So once you know that the content is created, once you know that your on page SEO is perfect, you can go for off page SEO to make this on page SEO rank. 
so it is in your hands as to which one you should focus more generally both on and off page solutions are implemented to improve the search engine placement but google ranks your website for search and the two most important signals they use are high quality page content and link building so this reflects the shared value of your on page and off page seo and the combination of these both in the marketing field would change your career or would change your fate okay so focus on both of these i would say if you are into digital marketing so this was the major difference between on page and off page seo and also with this we come to the end of this video on on page versus off page seo if you have any queries related to any of the topic that has been discussed feel free to reach out to us and do comment them in the comment section below and we'll get back to you at the earliest and also don't forget to look out for digital marketing videos by edureka thank you for watching this video happy learning